Good evening. I'm chewing living. <laughs> Today we're doing another reaction. This one is um, Tales from the Tour Bus with none other than the godfather of soul himself, Mr. James Brown. Let's get into the video. With the Flames, James Brown developed his style. By the 60s, he was recording records as a solo act. He turned out so many hit singles, they called him Mr. Dynamite. It was rocking back in the day. Famous Mike thing that James Brown does, you know, he drops it down and kicks it and picks back up. Another soul singer named Joe Tex claims that I did that first. So he says Brown stole for me. Niggas kind of had the same moves, man. I, now that I'm looking at it, man, Joe Tex was getting down too, like James Brown. Like, I don't know. Brown says, no, I did that first. He stole for me. And conflict ensues. Joe Tex apparently had a girlfriend who was a background singer named Bea Ford, very attractive woman. Mm. And at some point, Brown woos her, seduces her. And not only does she leave Joe Tex's band, she leaves Joe Tex. She became James' woman. Mm. I mean, they were super bad. So then Joe Tex... Mr. Still Your Girl, Mr. James Brown, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Makes this incredible record called You Keep Her. Mm. James, I got your letter. It came to me today. You said I could have my baby back, mm. but I don't want her that way. So you keep her, mm. you keep her, because man, Woo. she belongs. He calling James Brown out on that. You hear that? <laughs> he said, "Nigga, you can keep her, nigga." <laughs> he like James Brown. You old simp, nigga. <laughs> you keep her, nigga. This nigga Joe Tex boy. Woo. He's calling out James Brown by name in the beginning of the song. You know, I taught her how to dress. I taught her how to fix her hair. Mm. But you can have her now. And so now, James Brown's whacked out of his mind. Jane finds out that uh, Joe Tex is going to be hanging out at a club in Georgia called Club 15. It was an Otis Redding show. James grabs a couple of shotguns. He rolls into the spot like you know, it was a gangster movie and starts spraying. Ah. Otis Redding, yo, piano. I don't know. Nigga James Brown, wow. He actually meant to shoot Joe Tex, but he sure meant to scare the hell out of Joe Tex. Yo. The guy who ran the club had hogs in the back. James didn't hit any people, but he hit a couple of hogs. So Brown really went buck wild. He's off before the authorities can get at him, but several people who work for him stand around. Hey, uh, just in case you're all right, here's a couple of dollars. <laughs> so basically, they bought everyone's silence. Nigga James Brown was wild, nigga. Nigga was aiming shotguns at Otis Redding. <laughs> nigga had Joe Tex ducking the shells, boy. Yo, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. It's true and living.